Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Assassin, again. I'm back with another tutorial, but this one's going to be a Cinema 4D one. And as you can see my wallpaper at the moment, you can see, like, it's a neon-themed one. Well, that's kind of what I'm going to be showing you what to do today in Cinema 4D with no plugins. Um, also, this is what the other ones can look like. I've got this one here, let's make that one open with. So, I need to make sure you can see it, so... Um... I will need to go down to here. This is this one. You can make stuff like this. Just a uh, pretty cool light. So let's get started. Let's open Cinema 4D. There. Um, just wait for it to load up. Okay. First thing you want to do, you want to click that. Just click that. That's the floor and coordinates. You just want to go five tab five tab five. Um. Just, yeah. Now, to make the actual ball, you just... You need to uh, open a sphere, and you want to make a material that's black, just in the colour, and then you want to go to reflect... No, not reflection. Luminancy, and just check... No. It is reflection. Go to reflection, check it, and bring it down to about 40. About 42. Well do. And then you do that. And now to get on to the bit to actually add the stripes. So what you want to do is you just want to make sure you click the sphere and you just click that button that it whatever it does. Um and now it turns into a polygon object thing. And then you just want to click that what straight after you've clicked that. And now you can see you can select each individual one and move it like out and in, whatever you want to do with it. But we don't want to do that, so we want to go select, loop selection, and we want to select the select the bits that we want. So let's just select one there and one there. You've got hold shift to select. So once you've clicked the first one that you want, so on one there, you want shift, hold shift, and click the next one, click the next one, and click the next one, and there you have that. And whilst you've got them highlighted, just create a new texture, do it however you do it. And I'm just going to make a green one, because green, I think, looks cool on this. It, it looks quite nice. So then you've got the luminosity. You want to put your brightness up to 300. No, not 3,000, 300. That's basically what makes it work. And just drag it onto the orange bit, not the black bit. And now you have that. So to get it back, you just want to click that bit, and now you can move it around. Sorry, yeah, don't click that. Um, once you've clicked that tool, click that. So now you can move the whole thing. And now you can see it doesn't really look like the background. So it doesn't look like that at all. So what we want to do is we want to go click that, MoGraph, Cloner. Drag the sphere underneath the cloner and it makes a lot of them. But they're all in the different order. So you want to just go Object, Mode grid array and that's quite important just move it up and then you want to if you're more just move mess about with those options so for the size just drag it so they're not touching on that length drag that so they're not touching on that bit and drag that so they're not touching there so now you have like not 27 of them yeah i can do maths um you can bring them up okay and now to add the um, simulation tags for the floor you just want to right click simulation tags and collider body so that means anything that touches it just bounces change the ref um, the friction if you want but I'm not that bothered about that now you want to go to the sphere right click simulation tags and put rigid body on not soft body body or act like a liquid so like a really weird liquid and then once you've done that just click play and they will fall I'm gonna make sure you've got it to like 500 or something so you can see everything that happens. Drag that there. Let's just play again, see what happens. It falls, and let's just leave it like that. Now, if you just do that, it doesn't look at all good. It looks horrible. So what you want to do now? You want to just get the angle right. Click on the settings. Just do the settings however you want them. Um, seven twenty. Yep. Yeah. And then you want to go Effect, Global Illumination. And that's all you need 
So now when you do that, it will look a lot different whilst it does the rendering. And it will look neon, so like with the back so, so like the background. So now you have like a nice lime green colour and then it glows on the floor. And that is pretty much all you need to do if you want to. You can add text by just going mo graph, mo text, and just saying I say, hey, I'm not gonna bother with the font and then just put it wherever you want. That's yeah. Just put it wherever you want, it doesn't matter, I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. Just wanna do that there. And then you just have basically you can make yourself a background, you can make a wall art like I did for someone else. This is Lime. Um Lime, I forgot his name now. <laughs> um you can make stuff like this. I made a background with it as well. Um open with. Yeah, you can make stuff like that. So you've got a nice background, that's like kind of what I was aiming for. But basically that's how you make yourself a nice um, colour thing. If you want to do different colours, select one make one ring around well make one ring around the ball and then add the colour and then make the next ring and add the and, and then add the colour so on. So like I'll make one quickly now because I can do that pretty quickly. Let's just make that and uh, these look really cool as backgrounds and stuff. Let's just make this. I'm not gonna add the black, which I should do, shouldn't I? Um, so yeah, you just do that. Um, select loop ring tool. So you want to select one ring, drag on one color, make another ring, drag on your next color. Let's just do red. Um, Three hundred. Uh, all with the same settings, and then you can like. I so said I don't want to put it there. I want to put that. You just put red there. And then basically you have yourself quite a nice colour thing and you can see that you've got the colours out. I'm just going to put the red back on here because I don't like the green. It's horrible. And then you just do the simulation tag is the same. It's pretty much easy to use. Most people will know how to use it. And there we go. Look, now I have another one to add to the collection of balls and then basically you can just mess around with this and make it look yourself and make it just like neon lights um no soft boxes or anything are needed for this or lighting rooms it does it all itself so yeah thanks for watching guys comment rate subscribe if you want to see more tutorials like this on cinema 4d and photoshop um if you need any help um just leave a comment and i'll help you somehow and hope people find this useful because i was amazed when i found out how to do this so yeah can't really subscribe have a good day bye bye wrong thing <laughs> oh, i gotta cut that out